Hey, what's up all my Capricorns? You have reached my channel, Warrior Revelations, and I am BJ Warrior. Aren't you guys? I miss you guys so much. Let me tell you how trifling I am, right? So I was literally about to keep doing Capricorn reading, and I was like, I can't do that. Now, I love y'all. I really do. You know y'all my favorites. Y'all y'all reading this last, but not because I chose y'all last. I picked y'all last, right? But I kept trying to interrupt the process. I'm like, nah, spirit don't want me to do that. So uh, all the earth signs came out last. Uh, Virgo, then Taurus, now you guys, okay? So I don't know if you guys are dealing with another earth sign or not, but we're going to tap into it. We're going to see what's going on. This is for anybody with Capricorn placements in their chart. I tell everybody's tarot card readings I like advice. You can take it or you leave it. Either way, that's fine with me. May not be a message for you, but it's definitely a message for somebody. So any cards that I use, any information about personal readings is listed in the description box below. All right, so let's get started. It's the relative tarot. I'm going to get one card out of here. Oh, okay, Capricorn. Mm. Ten of Swords okay and there's no cards on either side because i have these cards just combined anyway either way and there's nothing on either side so i feel like this is the grand finale the ten of swords something is over i feel like there has been maybe some things some downloads you have been getting or there have been some situations that's been happening, things been happening kind of like back to back to back to back, but I feel like this is the last straw. Ooh, I, I combined two decks. Well, let's see what's going on. I combined two decks, the before deck and the regular tarot deck. Let's see what we get. I don't know, Capricorn, I didn't expect that. Um, I didn't expect Scorpio's energy and Aries energy, so definitely uh, go check them out. So let's see what this ten of swords is. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So I'm gonna take them, but let's see what we got. So this fell absolutely up here by the ten of swords. So I'm gonna leave it up here, and it's the justice card. Okay, Libra energy. So I hear instant karma for anybody that for whoever. So that's any and everybody who has stabbed you in the back especially as of recently or the last 10 years or the last something like 10 months or something, but I get more like years or something. There's been a lot of karma that you get to kind of witness in a sense, because I feel like these people, it's, it's at least 10 people on your shit list. Maybe you, I feel like you're let you let this go though. I mean, in a sense where you're not holding these like deep grudges or something but i feel like because i feel like they're surface area right <coughs> it's kind of like a cut with a knife versus a paper cut right the cut with a knife is deeper you know what i'm saying it's gushing out probably more the paper cut it hurt it's painful because it's so fucking tiny and you forget you got it and you put hand sanitizer on so now that bitch burn it again but it'll heal soon right you get my drift it's two different um I feel like this is more so surface area, right? Because I feel like these are, I, there were all lessons you needed to learn. Look how the stars are bright on, on each and every sword. Uh, but the other cards that fell out was the Empress here, the Ace of Cups, and the Death card in reverse. And you have the Queen of Pentacles here at the bottom. Um, I'm hearing James Brown, Papa's got a brand new bag. That's how I feel with the Nine of Pentacles, how she's looking in the reflection of that pinnacle, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, some of you guys, um, this could be family with the Empress here. Some of you guys could be pregnant. Some of you guys could be getting a, preg a positive pregnancy test. I feel like some of you guys need to tap into your feminine energy more and understand that some things we can't change, some things we have to allow the universe to change for us. I don't know if you guys have been trying to come up with the answer, like, I need an answer now, I need an answer now, I need an answer now. I want to say Aquarius got this Ten of Swords. If you have Aquarius in your chart, watch that. It was either them or Pisces. 
but you have the three of pentacles here so i'm hearing um that this whatever this is the pain is not gonna be long i feel like something happens it hurts your feelings and then just back like that like i'm hearing single again back on the prowl you know i don't know shit even if it's a job, I don't know. It's like you, you gone. Yeah, like nothing can stop you. I feel like people trying to stop you, people trying to get in your way. Somebody's like, oh, but I love you, don't leave. Literally, I love you, don't leave. you like, uh, you're not going to change. I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to go ahead and take my chances and jump off the bridge, right? But not to kill myself or no shit like that, but just, you know, for something new. I feel like it's an adventure. And then, because look, you have the Ten of Swords here in reverse, right? I feel like, so this could be somebody from your past or somebody that you're with now that becomes a part of your past because I feel like this person, whatever it is, they've been, they've been living on the edge, let's say, with this Ten of Swords in reverse. It's like they know what they've been doing this whole time. They've been backstabbing. They've been betraying. So they've been knowing what they was doing. That's why they have to sit here and take this punishment. And that's why I feel like you guys are going to be on front row, front and center. What's the Empress here in the three of uh, Pentacles, the tower? When I say you guys are going to be front and center for this, Knight of Pentacles, I feel like it's a drive through movie. Are uh, you guys just pulling up eating your popcorn? Get your popcorn ready. Jump in the comments. You heard me. What's the Ace of Cups? Ace of Cups. You have the Ace of Swords and the Magician. Not, not the Magician. The uh, High Priestess. So maybe the uh, the the Magician wants to come out. I seen it earlier. But you have the Page of Cups here in reverse. So between somebody's uh, lack of maturity and their lack of telling the truth, I feel like, and, okay, so for some of you guys, I feel like you found out the truth on accident. It's like you roll up on the truth. Here. I don't feel like you were meant to see this with the chariot here. So you could have like your intuition, this Ace of Cups could have told you to be like, hey, yeah, get up and go. Or go do this or go to the store or something told you to just go do something right your intuition this high priestess that was really kicking in i feel like you kept hesitating like no nah, or or you will hesitate but something that's telling me to just tell you reiterate again follow your intuition something is telling you to do something go do it So I feel like so this truth could literally come to you like as a like as a vision, a dream, an epiphany. What's the death card in reverse in the food? The six of wands in reverse. I'm hearing nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. You had a page of wands in reverse. There's nothing this person can say. I feel like you're done. It's the finale. It's the grand finale. Why is this happening now? You have the Knight of Cups here, the Seven of Wands. They're, they're saying that they need you to take this opportunity while you can. I feel like they're, they're giving you a leeway to kind of like sneak yourself out because with this Seven here and get away from this person. I feel like this person is, they think they doing something, but they not. They think they playing games. They think they playing with you, but they not. Like, I feel like this person is insulting your intelligence. You have the seven here and the six in reverse. That's giving me Ace of Wands energy. That's why I said when they give you the green light to go, you need to fucking go. You've been asking the nine of cups here. You've been asking for the opportunity. Help me. Help me. Okay, well, now the grand finale is here. And now you need to help yourself and walk through the door. The devil, Capricorn energy, your energy. They want you to take charge, take control. like the devil energy that you are you need to take control because you see there's no change there's no handcuffs right i'm here i got my control over diva right you guys are much smarter that's the funny shit this person is coming at you with some knight of cup shit but you just as smart and manipulative as the devil ever has been because that's just a part of you what's the knight of cups 
the strength card here in the eight of pentacles in reverse the knight of swords in reverse this person does not think like you now they may be a little smooth they may be able to this person might have anger issues too but um i feel like this person may be a little smooth or something like that but to me in the same sentence i'm getting that they just they still don't have it they're not as smart as you they will never be as smart as you um they think that they can outwork outsmart you faster than you can i feel like this is really an insult on your intelligence what's the seven of wands the eight of pentacles in reverse again five of cups in reverse again the hangman they feel like they can hang like they are going to work effortlessly to try to fix it working double time working on the weekends like usual so this could be our um, work they could be doing something at work because i feel like they're saying they're investing their time in at work so maybe their intuition is telling you like hey you know go over here pull up over there and i feel like you literally catch somebody like red-handed or something yeah they can't go nowhere they can't do anything they're just like looking stupid what's the devil the two of cups in reverse it's time to go for some of you guys if you're in this toxic ass relationship five of pentacles in reverse because it's always going to be that negative ass energy right like i said earlier nine of cups you ask the universe for this opportunity to move forward or to show you the signs or whatever and it's, it's right here in your face let's get you an angel number Twenty four. I am generous. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. I am generous. Twenty four breaks down to the number six. You have twelve. Twelve. I am focused. Stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into a reality. Right. Also with this nine of cups, turning your dreams into a reality. So I'm really getting, and it's funny because this breaks down to six too. So six and then another six. Give, the universe is giving to you. You are giving, so now the universe is giving to you. You ask for a way out. You ask for answers to these questions and you're here to get it. They're giving it to you. Um... Let me just get a couple more. Anything else from these decks that you want us to my spirit for Capricorn? Two wands. Uh, this is a decision that you're going to have to make fairly soon. Nine of wands in reverse. I feel like this person is going to try to say whatever they can yes they're trying to like pull everything out they ask to kind of get you to listen to to make things better with you but with this ten of swords energy i just don't i just don't see it especially with whatever gifts you're getting what's this temperance in reverse so it could be a sagittarius or another fire sign Okay, then we have the Queen of Swords here and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Then the Queen of Cups here on the bottom. Okay, so. Now, not only would I want you to be mindful of everything that you have going on, you have the Ten of Wands here. Not only do I want you to be mindful of whatever, whatever is going on, but just understand that um, you're not obligated to take care of no damn body, okay? Because I feel like this person is trying to put this guilt trip on you. They try to make you feel bad because they want what you have or they feel like you're going to have something and they want to be there. But I feel like... They're going to do uh, 
everything in their power, man. I'm really sorry, y'all. But I feel like they're doing everything in their power to be victorious, to convince you. So maybe in the past, they felt like their sweet talk and their manipulative ways work. But I see you moving on. It's over. I'm hearing that song. It's, it's over now. We have the nine and the two, both coming out funky, and the five of swords. Don't fear change, or, you know, or don't. We fear what we don't know, right? We don't know what's going to happen for you in the next three days, three weeks, three months, because I got three of wands energy, two of wands energy here, too. But um, I don't quite know, but don't fear it. Don't fear it at all. You are protected. Don't feel like some of you guys may feel like you're in the spiritual attack. For some of you guys, you are. But you know what? Whenever you so. But you know, yeah, that's why I said for some of you guys, you are, but for some of you guys that, that energy has passed where you feel like you're on the spiritual tag, nothing is kind of going your way. But slowly but surely, I feel like you're getting out of this energy. And you'll see things change, turn around. All right, let's get you guys, let's get some box arcana cards. I thought, do y'all read it? I'm gonna take a nap, then I'm gonna post these readings. I know, I'm sorry. I'm hearing a call, Tyrone. I'm getting tired of your shit. You don't never buy me nothing. Dun, 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 dun. Six of Pentacles. What'd she say? I gotta reach down in my purse to pay your way and your homeboy's way and sometimes your cousin's way. They don't ever have to pay. Don't have no cards. Hang around in bars trying to hang around with stars. Like by do, I'ma tell you the truth. Show and prove and get the food, okay? Somebody is calling Tyrone, honey. Yeah, whatever the case might be, because the magician is here. The death card in reverse. All right, y'all. There might be somebody in on this, too, right? The three of pentacles here in reverse. I feel like there might be somebody in the background that maybe you becomes like forefront so you can kind of see i feel like so this could not only be somebody but it could be something something is hidden in the dark and it will no longer be hidden from you what's the six of pentacles this could be money this could be anything what's this temperance is here what's the magician the world The Knight of Wands. Okay, you guys. So, one thing I would say is some of you guys are just a little bit too generous because people are taking advantage of you. So, they want you to balance being generous. Right, the Six of Pentacles here, the Temperance here, but the Queen of Pentacles is coming here in reverse. So, I want you guys to really balance how much you give, how you give to people. Um, only give to people who's really giving to you. I feel like you're giving too much of yourself. You're 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 letting it go all the way. It's it's becoming too much. Um, you have the Magician here, the World, and then the the Ace of Cups. I flipped off the top. And I feel like one thing you guys need to know, you are really getting what you manifested in real life. It's kind of, it's so scary. That's, 
Like, so I feel like you guys might literally even scare yourselves. Like, look at the cat. I didn't even realize. Look at how scared the cat looks. You guys might be so scared. You don't want to accept your new beginnings. <laughs> you don't want to accept the change. Like, you like, you, re you ready to go, but you didn't like, you like, nah, I don't want to go. Like, this is scary. Is this too good to be true? It's not the fact that it's too good to be true. But yeah, this is your calling, right? The, the air element. This When you get this call, this call is real. Let me get one more for the fool. Let me get one for the full death, the Knight of Cups. Guess who's the Zach? You have the chariot here. Yeah, somebody's coming back. Okay, so that I, I get what this is saying. Let this person the fuck know. You keep them from around your damn money. You keep them around from around your energy. When you get this damn green light to go, go. Do not pass. Go. Do not collect $200. Just go. Okay? Fuck them. Let's get an Oracle card. For my Capricorn. Ooh, I love it when this happens. Self-love at the bottom. Spirit already speaking, but... I like when this card comes out and I had a book sitting right there and it's like, for me, that's double confirmation. So sacred wisdom. Mm. I don't get this card that often, so I'm excited, Capricorn. It says, think carefully, consider all options in your life transitions. Mm. Owls are deep and intense message bringers, encouraging you to connect to your inner visionary. The white owl shares wisdom to those who respect traditional processes. Protectors and knowledge keepers, these sage spirit animals offer you guidance and safeguard your spiritual work. Intuitive information and messages alike will always arrive with divine delivery and no sooner, don't push. That's why I said earlier, some of you guys have been asking, 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 and now it's here. So now that they're giving you this green light, listen to what they're telling you. Acknowledging change, the wise owl asks you to think carefully about how you approach life transitions. Look beyond what is physically in front of you. More about your gifts and natural talents will be revealed to you when you remove the expectation of receiving certain results. Right now, honor your inner God or goddess. Return to natural cycles and all that you are. They'll deep into your being to access powerful base energies that resonate with your heart and instincts honor the divine feminine and divine masculine that, div that resides within your spirit keep your focus and direction on the present day or time will slip away into the abyss ideas will soon pass on to others if you continue to ignore spirits messages lunar phases will affect you now be mindful in your methods with others and listen to your inner voice. Past life influences will arise now. Deep attractions or a sense of knowing or kinship will make themselves known in abrupt ways. Listen to these messages. They bring you karmic lessons that will strengthen your soul. By embracing your connection to the past, you can empower your future self with new knowledge and positive energy. Sleep patterns are a primary focus now. Ensure you are getting enough sleep. Pay attention to your dreams. Hidden messages and meanings will assist you in your waking life journal your reflections to help you interpret this subconscious communication the affirmation is i honor the, the divine god or goddess within me i accept and embrace the love and power it offers me now and always okay because whatever this is is over or they've been trying to send you these signs, right? So just listen to the signs for months, Capricorn, okay? Don't let them keep having to send the shit, send the shit, send the shit. Like, they done sent you a bunch. They done sent you nine already, but about to send you one more, all right? All right, guys, so please like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have, you already know I appreciate it. So until next time, y'all already know what it is. Holla at a player when you see me in the street, pimp. Bye.